many years, recording engineers and scientists have strived to present to your ears, through records, the finest sound that art can create and science can In, in Golden Bay definitely has had a, a massive influence on me like personally and, and musically. Yeah I grew up on a commune there with maybe about 40 to 50 different people living on the same piece of land together and sharing one garden you know everybody works on the land together and the whole of Golden Bay kind of has that same essence you know a lot of people are doing the same thing and it's a very slow moving slow paced area. And I think that that comes across in my music, like it, it kind of, you know, doesn't do anything too quickly and kind of evolves slowly. And yeah, I think the overall like tempo of Golden Bay is kind of reflective in, in, in my music. So I met Benny Tones in 2007. Uh, rolling up to Wellington for the first time to live. He gave me some beats uh, to check out and we probably worked on about four tunes, all of which were good enough to be on uh, Chrysalis. Then we, we moved on to uh, working together in another capacity with him engineering for Electric Wire Hustle Live but also as a studio engineer and translating live material into finished studio tracks and studio tracks getting them sound and bumping for uh, a live form. He's, he's a perfectionist and, and it shows in his sound. It's like avatar beats. You know, it sounds like there's a multi million dollar machine behind the stuff, but it's just my man. I don't think that there was like a, a defining moment where I thought, you know, I'm going to get into music or. Or anything. I think, you know, ever since a really young age of maybe like 10 or 12, I've always had a, a love of old gear and going to second hand shops and I'd always go straight to the electronics, you know, section and try and find something that was quirky. But I think the actual production of music and wanting it to sound really good, definitely I gravitated towards that type of music. I first met Benny um, at Havana actually, it was one of I think the first kind of electric wire hustle gigs and we kept in touch and we were listening to each other's music and, um, and then Benny sent me a track um, that he had as part of his album. I had some lyrics that I had written so it was just a matter of working out where they fit in and amongst all the beautiful layers of his track. They were lyrics that were really personal to me so I did sit with it for a while before I actually sort of handed it over to Benny and knew that I was comfortable with it. Yeah, it's a very personal track to me and it was a blessing to be part of it. I, I, I don't know what you call Um, yeah, well there wasn't, I can't remember an actual like, start of trying to create the album. It was just kind of me locked in the studio. I bought myself a whole bunch of old vintage gears and got real geeky on it, you know, with my, with my sounds and just trying to create a whole bunch of different things that I hadn't heard before and, and try not to inhibit my thought process or, or my direction of where it was going to go. So there wasn't any idea of actually creating an album at the start, but um, I mean the album took about four and a half years to make in the end. Probably halfway through that was when I realised that I was starting to get enough kind of material to get, you know, that I could actually create an album. Yeah, I never met Benny before and until we made the centre. We're both from Wellington and I just moved to London to live and uh, ironically, you know, we met on MySpace thousands of miles from each other and then from there basically he sent me three beats and I'd heard his music before that but this was, you know, a bit different and um, I was really feeling the vibe of the stuff that he sent me I think we are listening to a lot of the same stuff. So, um, yeah, the centre was the one that resonated with me the most and I literally had one day at home with my laptop and my inbox and a microphone, busted it out in a couple of hours basically, just wrote the song off the vibe of the beats and, and it pretty much wrote itself, so that was how the centre came about.
I got really into the idea of transformation and the actual chrysalis cycle itself and how that kind of relates back to my musical process within the studio and how it's quite similar I guess and just when you jump in the studio and just madly experiment as much as you can that whole incubation period of not really knowing what's going on and yeah and then just seeing kind of what comes out the other side <laughs> in a studio while we were working on another project and uh, I just felt this incredible energy and vibe of Benny and just the way he made me feel really comfortable in the studio recording vocals. So fortunately I was then asked to work on a beat of his which eventually became Chrysalis and then from there I was asked to do um, a music video which was such an amazing experience working with an incredible team, an amazing director Jessica Sanderson and just the experience of shooting right through the night, having to sing the song at different speeds with a wind machine in my face and having to give that same emotion across from when I actually originally wrote it. So um, it was just a really unique experience and um, I'm really excited to see this.